so-called Xinjiang and Tibet invaded by Chinese government. Both nations, Uyghurs and Tibetans, became victims of violation of human rights. Uyghurs are, ac ac accidentally, Uyghurs are accidentally and culturally a tricky people living in the Central Asia, commonly known as East Turkestan or the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region of China. Uyghurs are primarily Muslims and lead predominantly secular lives, give birth to many great civilizations and at various points of history. It has been a cradle of scholarship, culture, and power. Their homeland is Turkestan, situated in the heart of Asia and lying on the fabled ancient Silk Road is the historical homeland of the Turkic-speaking Uyghurs. The region has been occupied by China since 1949 and makes up its largest province. Also, Nazi-like concentration camps back again in East Turkestan. Right now, one to three million Uyghurs, Kazakhs, and other Turkic ethnic group, groups are detained in Chinese concentration camps and their children indoctrination classes that aim to erode ethnic identity. Uyghurs and other Turkic people being incarcerated are not officially charged with a crime. So we are proud to be your side, support your community for against the uh, China invasion. Thank you. That's all we can, I can share with you this morning. MacGyver, uh, representative of uh, Jason Kenny, to speak, uh, speak a few words of support for Tibet. Thank you. Good morning. What? Thank you, Mr. Soda. Appreciate that. It's, uh, folks, it's, it's my pleasure to be here this morning. My name is Rick McIver. Um, I'm honored to be here today to bring greetings on behalf of Alberta's United Conservative Caucus on behalf of our leader, Jason Kenney. I'm proud to work alongside a leader like Jason who is dedicated to the advancement of human rights and the freedom of religion. And that's for all peoples. At the core of the Tibetan movement is the principle of non-violence, a principle rooted in Tibetans' belief in the Dalai Lama and his uncompromising stand on violence. Here in Canada, we value the principle of non-violence and peaceful resistance, which is a reason why the Tibetan community fits in so well in Canada into our multicultural atmosphere. Mr. Kenny has had the privilege of meeting global leaders from all walks of life, one of which was His Holiness the Dalai Lama, a meeting which he was fortunate enough to have not just once, but twice. 
I myself was uh, fortunate to meet with the briefly with the Dalai Lama when he was in Calgary a few years ago. That was a, a highlight for me in my in my experiences. His Holiness told Mr. Kenny the most important thing that the, that the Tibetan diaspora can do is pass on to the next generation the culture and the faith which Tibetans are unable to freely practice in China and Tibet. From today's gathering, it is clear Tibetans in Alberta are doing exactly that. During his time as Minister of Citizenship and Immigration, Mr. Kenny estimated, established, pardon me, the Tibetan resettlement program that welcomed over a thousand Tibetans, many of whom settled here in Calgary. And I'm sure some are with us here today. In closing, let us be mindful of those still in Tibet who are unable to celebrate their Tibetan identity and religious convictions. We stand with them in solidarity as Canadians and Albertans. Thank you for letting me be a small part of this important celebration today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. On, on behalf of the Tibetan community, we thank uh, Rick McIver for coming here. Thank you so much.